welcome back to the kitchen, my kitchen, our very professional set here uh, for episode two of Taste It Now Make It. Dutch for mashed potatoes with kale. That's like loosely translated. There's not a great English exact phrase or word to match that one word. Um, but Evan and I ate it in Harlem and it was so delicious. It is the like quintessential winter fall comfort food. It is the middle of summer right now. Comfort food is year round, right? You can't put a season on mashed potatoes. No, you can't. Potatoes and... Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and... Kale. Kale. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Well, cheese. And then, what is that glaze? It's not glaze, it's gravy. Well, oh, it's gravy. Oh, it's gravy. Gravy on top. With <laughs> cheese. Is this good cheese? Yes. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This so good. Oh. Okay. So essentially the basic elements of a stamp pot, like I already said, is potatoes, some sort of green. They almost always use kale, I think, but any sort of like dark leafy green can be substituted. And I have these beautifully gigantic Swiss chard leaves from my sister-in-law. So thanks, Caitlin. We're about to use your Swiss chard in the recipe. And then the other aspect of it uh, that they usually serve it with is some sort of sausage. Uh, they serve it with rookwurst? Rook, rookwurst? I don't know. It's some sort of specific Dutch sausage that is nearly impossible to find in the United States, let alone in Harrisonburg, Virginia. So um, most of the people recommended using kielbasa, which is what I have here. So I'm using a Polish sausage. Please forgive me. I figured it would be better than like chorizo or just like a normal smoked sausage. So yeah, pork kielbasa and of course potatoes. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started. Uh, I'm gonna peel and chop the potatoes and then get those cooking and then
Ugh. Here come the waterworks. Oh my gosh. Woo. Okay, I've been chopping the potatoes and those are cooking currently, uh, just doing their thing. I'm letting them simmer in the pot uh, with a little bit of salt and two bay leaves and it smells really good. And then I'm just getting ready to saute the onions that I diced, the kale, no, see, I just read the recipe and it had kale. I'm using Swiss chard. <laughs> the Swiss chard and then the sausages, which are fully cooked, um, but I'm just gonna brown them up and let them kind of add some of their flavor to the onions and the kale. And then basically what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna make a gravy from the deliciousness that's gonna happen in this pan, so. You be the scooper, I be the pan picker upper. I think I left the Swiss chard maybe just a little long. Like the strands too long. Oh. But it's fine. No, I think I honestly. Think it's honestly, like, kind of looking like what we had. Yeah. We did we had kale. But it, it was about that size, and honestly, I don't think it was mixed together. I think they just threw it on the plate with it afterwards on top. Mm, they mash it together. That's mm. kind of like the point. I think they might have thrown more on top. All right, so once your, if your sausages are fully cooked or whatever, once they're fully cooked or just brown, like mine were already fully cooked, just gotta get them out of the pan. You'll eventually add them to everything, but I'm just gonna set them to the side while I finish off with the gravy. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna, wow. <laughs> So in the recipe, it says to use either, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> in the recipe, it says to use either beef stock or water. So I'm doing neither one of those and just using some vegetable stock um, for a little extra flavor. And I figured since there was already um, kale, nope, Swiss chard.
powder, I think. Mm. Salt and pepper, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I hope it's fun that I'm wearing a graphic tee. It's fun. I don't know. You wore a shirt with Chewbacca last week. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and you're worried about this very muted, understated graphic tee. <laughs> <laughs> what am I to do with you? Oh, it's okay that I'm wearing a graphic tee. Yeah, you literally last week were so insistent on the Chewbacca shirt. I was getting my hair cut. What else could I do? Anything. <laughs> so then we'll just give it a hmm. Mm, that's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is like the most healthy, unhealthy thing I exactly. think. Exactly. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, I'll do There we go. Now we're talking. This is yours here. So we'll just give it a little knows. scoop here. We'll we'll do some presentation here. I feel like. Oh yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta have some presentation. It's kind of like. There we go. Okay. It's okay. And then. Oh, I feel like I've got a, an island here. Ooh. Okay. I feel like I need to show the camera this or something. Yeah. Go ahead. same time, so let's tripod that up. Okay. So we gotta get a sausage, scoop of everything, and mm -hmm. just going in. Ready? Okay, so cheers. Oh my gosh. This takes me back in so many ways. I mean, this is really different. But it still takes, it still takes you back, right? It reminds me of it, yeah. Mm. We're gonna go eat dinner. That's super good. Sorry for the for the maybe less chaotic week, but I'm happy that it was less chaotic because there was less guesswork involved. Yep. So we're gonna go eat our dinner. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like the video if you liked it. Like the video if you didn't like it. Like the video if you like me. Like the video if you don't like me. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you next week. At least I will. But probably Evan. He's my cameraman. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. And feel free to make some Dutch comfort food while you're at home. Bye! Bye!